All right. So this is the frag tank as it sits today. And um, we're going to do an update because a lot has changed. There's my messy fragging station to the right. So let's go up here and start top to bottom. So I still got this stand that came with it for 30 bucks. Um, that the stand was the only thing. And it, uh, it's just a wood two by four stand. And um, it's got a you know a nice light hanging rack on there. Um, <laughs> this is three months in. It is set up just to house corals. I mean, it's it would just get it together and go. I've got some plans for it, which we'll go over in a little bit. The light is a uh, Aquatic Life T5. I've got four actinic um, ATI bulbs in there, two Reef Bright actinic. Um, Lumi lights gives me about 100 or 225 par of all blue light, which um, is what I believe in, and you'll see what that's growing. Um, going to the back and filtration, I've got my Aquamax Hang On Back One, which is now about two and a half years old and never skips a beat, almost three years old. I found this uh, this auto feeder online on Amazon um, was it KW awesome <laughs> cheap it was like 25 30 bucks silent reliable easy to program I mean psh, blows everything else I had out of the water um, really good uh, the auto top off is still the DIY from um, Danos Nanos um, and Right now, it's feeding out of this two-gallon container with this uh, over top, the Tom's Aqua Lifter. Uh, it's brought up to height because it pumped better that way. So this is definitely just a get-it-together rig. Uh, the Innovative Marine Reactor has GFO and Fosgard in it, which I haven't turned on for the last three months. I just haven't taken it out. There's the Eheim heater. The um, hang-on back is the Seachem uh, 50. Um, Title 50 and it is running just pond matrix. Uh, I haven't even opened this up in a while, but really it's just two worms and bacteria and that's it. That's all that's in there. And it provides a little bit of surface flow. My dosing, there's my single dosing line. I'm do dosing calc washer. Um, out of this container, there's my used one. Here's my one ready to go. I just mix up a couple of them. I'm using Calc Plus 2 uh, Magnesium and Strontium from um, Brightwell Aquatics. It's been working awesome. It's just going through the Apex through a BRS 1.1 doser. And that doser is going off for 12 minutes every hour, putting in, you know, that many cc's of fluid. Um, and it keeps this alk at around 7.8. It dips down a lot because I add more corals, as you'll see. I just crank it up and it keeps going. There's a lot of evaporation with this open top. So this thing lasts about a week and a half, two weeks. And this lasts about a little longer than that, the fresh water. But I just you know, pop that top right on there and then keep on going. Um, so that's is the light is hanging and the filtration. Uh, no GFO, no carbon running, just a five gallon water change with Fritz um, RPM once a week where I suck out some of the stuff in the bottom and it just doesn't build up a whole lot of, I haven't really tested the nitrates and phosphates. This algae that's on here is basically how I watch things. Um, and I do have some snails, so if it starts to grow faster, I know that my phosphates are up. But the best filtration I've seen for any of my tanks is having a ton of coral. And so if I keep a ton of coral in there, um, they soak up everything. All right. There's just some Seachem matrix in there, uh, pond matrix, because I have plans for that. A uh, little bit of rock. There is a chunk of live rock under there. 
those shelf rock. I, I want to get all that out. I got I got plans for for more stuff. As far as stocking, I got an Onyx Percula, a per a Platinum Percula, a Raniford Gobi is in here somewhere, and a Azul Damsel, which you just saw shoot by. See all them tube worms? That's some Miracle Mud from the Nano Dano's Nano. It's old Miracle Mud, but it had so many tube worms on it. Look at that so many two worms but I just kept it and they are all just out fanning and um, since I don't use filter socks that's my filter sock this guy has hosted this you feel you there's the the damsel there's a mass goby in here somewhere and then there's the ranifer goby and he doesn't eat a ton of the algae but I do have some uh, asterina snail or not well there are some asterina snails sorry in here and um some astria snails that do eat the algae and um, some margarita snails that do the same so for control I do have wave makers there's one back there in that corner on uh, constant one back there this is a, a J bow OW4 this is a J bow uh, SW2 I think and Here's their controllers. Oh uh, yeah, SW2, just cranking out. And this is the OW4, and I've got it pulsing. Uh, OW10, I'm sorry, there it is, OW10. Um, so yeah, cheap little $50, $40, $50 pumps. I do want one more to blow off the top of the corals, you'll see. And then um, I do have an Apex uh, Junior. There's the Junior right there. Uh, the display. Uh, I've got a PM1 module that way I can. I was gonna put another. I was gonna put a calcium reactor on here, but this is how I monitor my pH and I have a safety on it for Calcwasser. If any of y'all just saw, um, shout out to O's Reef. He didn't set up his safe his safety line for Calcwasser. Um, if my pH goes over 8.45, it shuts this off. He. Uh, he will never not put that line in there again. But this, he was seeing that the power calc washer does do it. So, I mean, this, this tank is completely calc washer and we'll see the corals in a second. There is another um, eight plug apex bar back there with, looks like three free plugs at the moment. Here's my main incoming power bar that the apex and everything else is plugged into. And here is, I love these. Oh, it's so dark to see. Turn this light. These are the, um, there you go. these guys with the plugs on them that's how I do all my maintenance so my pumps are plugged into that my ATO and then um, my title on the top my title 50 and so that's it it's kind of uh, you know hang all wires it's not the oh and then see that blue box in the back that is a uh, 2D battery um, power bubbler backup so if the power goes out, that's my that's my battery backup for the tank. Anybody who watches Bulk Reef Supply realized that they didn't have any batteries on their tanks and they lost five grand worth of fish. Um, I've got a lot of frags in here. And even if I sell them for five dollars a piece, that's um yeah, that's a lot. So uh, uh I'm not I'm not you know, I like my fish, I like my coral, so I'm not, you know, a twenty dollar bubbler, I'm keeping it. So um so that's the, the initial setup. If you look over here. I have a sump. It's a 10 gallon with some baffles in it. Um, and I do plan on bringing, see that pipe? There is a Pakpo um, overflow kit. And what that does is it's basically a hang on the back overflow. It's got a little airline right here. And this pipe goes up to here and that pipe goes down to there. Basically you, could, you, you do a hang on the back without the box overflow kit and Parker's Reef has a um, good video on that I watched that and he showed me that so uh, there's my cooling fan that's how I get a lot of my evaporative cooling we are in a air, con air conditioned garage but it still gets like 78 79 out here that's hot for the tank so so let me shut off this uh, title here and I calm the water down we'll take a look at the corals so a lot of these are from Danos Nanos. A lot of these are from the 55 gallon display, which I will do an update on. 
but they are loving this light. This is a chalice. They are loving the tank. So that sunset monopora, I've got 10 frags of that over there, chopped up. There's the mother colony. That uh, green stylo, oh, there's the calcwasser kicking on. That'll run for the next 12 minutes. Um, that green stylo, those big col mini colonies of it and all those 10 frags, that's out of my 55 gallon. Um, it's still got a huge chunk in there. That thing's been just letting me have them. Uh, there's a purple stylo that I chopped up. There's the mother colony over there. It just got chopped. Um, going back, some um, Fabias, some Cyphastria. So this Cyphastria here, which of course, since the calc's dripping in, it's going to be hard to see, but I put them on these three inch discs um, and they're growing out. And there's another one over here. I'll just give you a quick, the Alien Pox. That's been on there about a month and a half. It's come out that much. Um, I'm gonna keep those on the three inch. The rest of them like this uh, Jason Fox Diglow Favites, which that is what that looks like. Um, you know, these little two inch plugs, like this Jedi Mind Trick. I'm gonna, uh, the slower ones are gonna go on two inch plugs. And I'm just gonna see how many, you know, these plugs I can I can keep in here. This, um, that, that green Monty there, holy cow, it's almost yellow. It's like highlighter green. So bright, not even close to the, the mother colony of this uh this uh scenes and greetings monty okay um moving along some outer space sarcoma war coral don deer leptosiris that uh jason fox dragon skin that was out of the um danos nanos uh or not danos the rico's nano challenge um got that with four little heads on it go to look at it again it's 300 dollars a half inch at at Jason Fox. I'm like, holy cow, I'm glad I, I didn't get rid of it, but I could chop that up into a bunch of pieces, but I'm just going to let it grow. Maybe take one or two out and sell them and keep it going. Um, some Free Care Pavona, Utter Chaos, and some Space Monsters are on the other side of that. Um, some Eagle Eyes, Watermelon Sarmacoma, Mr. Mystery, Mystic Monopora, that's what it is. Um, I've got a collection of these interstellar mushrooms going. This was my first one. This is my most expensive coral that I put in here before I realized that that uh, alligator skin was. Um, but as far as the mushroom goes, that was like, you know, I put one in. I've got four in the other tank. One of them is about three inches across. Uh, A-cans, not interested in A-cans. Um, they're in here. They're, they're doing okay. You can even see the polyps out. Um, I'm going to let them go cheap and go from there. I don't really want to grow them. There's uh, 10 frags of that Mystic, or that uh, Season's Greetings. Those are going to the fish shop. There's Deglo, Bavides frags. Some Softies, some Montipora Satosa, Tester Coral. So I got enough of that frag out of the main. Um, so the, some of these are just test corals. Um, I picked up another, um, there's a Chalice, a uh, Pinstripe Chalice. Here's my here's my acro test, <laughs> and so that's my stag. Obviously, they're they're not pissed. Uh, actually, the first acro test. There's a digi. This is my pink millie. My pink millie only turned pink in the other tank with lots of flow, and right in the middle, uh, not a ton of flow in this tank. So it's a green millie right now. But that is the pink millie, and it's living. Um, the only thing it hasn't done great is from Rufopalooza. There's a pink boobies chalice on the left that did good. This that um that zoa hanging in there, but. Um, and here's my frag rack from the 55 gallon that had just zoas growing on it. So I'll be, you know, just kind of getting those off. Some gobstoppers, some eagle eyes, some fruit loops, some egg, scrambled eggs, some king Midas. Uh, there's a, there's a hornet. Those are all on frags that, some, uh, that, um, they, they crept off. You know what I mean? They walked off and got on the frag rack. So I just made a new frag rack and got them all down there again. But really, um, could not be happier with uh, with the frag tank. It's um, it's going really well. It's really fun, you know. I've got my chopping tools right there, my glue, my my hardener. Um, I just pull them out and got big bags of plugs over there. I just pull them out and chop them up and make frags and 
take them down to the fish shop and sell them and um it, it helps pay for some stuff um and and it's just a fun hobby so next time you see it i hope to have all the equipment down there on that sump more room in there and a crazy new frag rack setup that i'm going to put together myself so thanks for making it to the end if you made it to the end and um, i'll bring you an update of the 55 gallon uh, next bye